it's day four of the race um, from Seattle to Panama and we are aiming for the scoring gate. We've been racing throughout the night, particularly against Haolong Bay, who was about six nautical miles behind us and is now bearing down about, they're about two nautical miles behind us. So if we get first, um, we get three points. If Haolong managed to um, get ahead of us, there's two points, but we still have uh, Zuhai, who was very close behind um, Haolong earlier on our last pause report, so we're at the last position where we found out where all the boats were. Still fighting just for even one point. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm a little bit stressed out, but yeah, we'll be all right. Um, down here by 1-6. It's going to be better for us to jibe, it's going to be more aggressive, uh, it's going to put pressure on them, uh, and it's also the making jibe, so it's going to be a shorter distance to get to there, uh, to get to the gate, than if we stay on this jibe. Helm to weather, turning down, keep it easing, keep it easing, take it in, Katie, take it in, take it in, take it in, take it in. Okay, jibe ho! All the way off, Lucy. All the way off, all the way off. How you jibe a clip of 70. Um, and Zuhai, it turned out, had pulled an hour early on the pause, so they were actually a lot closer than we thought. And then with the wind coming around, they didn't have to jibe. Uh, and they've, they've rocked ahead for, for three points through the scoring gate. And then we've jibed with Haolong Bay and neck and neck right up to the line. And we've just squeezed past them uh, by about 30 seconds for, uh, for two points from the scoring gate. So another two points on the board for our Isles and Oceans. So yeah, uh, a good morning, but a little tense, it has to be said. There's some, uh, some high heart rates on deck right now.